So where's, where's Alex? Start with Alex. Alex, um, so you played um, a piece of classical music. And Good. one thing when you play classical music on the piano, it needs to be very poised, very delicate, and um, very even. And I thought that's exactly what you were playing was. It was like being in some sort of Viennese drawing room. It's very, very nice indeed. Excellent touch, nice and delicate. Nice dynamics, but nothing for, for that style of music. You don't want anything too over the top. So I thought you balanced that beautifully. Well, well done. Um, where is Finn? Finn. Sorry, Finn, there you are. Um, again, really good steady tempo. Some great sounds coming from the trumpeters. Um, composers, marks, again, very well observed. Your fortes, your pianos, the nice writ at the end. And really, I noticed really listening to the accompany, accompanist, which is, you know, very, very good. Just, I think, with your playing, I think you need to realise that you can play really well. So perhaps just be a little bit more confident and... Um, I thought you were tremendous. Well done. Uh, ben, uh, Ben, um, a very stylish, very stylish before performance, full of character, full of contrast. Um, I put that I really enjoyed um, sort of the difference between and the contrast between the lovely melodies that you gave us, the lovely tunes, and all the sort of um, virtuoso playing. Does anybody know what, has anybody come across a virtuoso before? What's a virtuoso? What? Anybody know what the word virtuosic is or virtuoso? Well, I will tell you. There's a, there's a point in um, uh, the, the, the piece that um, Ben played, which is called a cadenza, and it's just a tiny little section of music where it gives um, the performer an opportunity to play something actually quite flashy. And uh, Ben played this sort of s um, series of really fast scales, which I, I thought you, you played incredibly well. Um, I thought it was very, very um, exciting playing. So, well, well done, Ben. Barnaby, where's Barnaby? That was some really very intense piano playing, I have to say. You were really absorbed in the music. Um, one thing about that particular piece is, where's, where's the melody, where's the tune? It's in the left hand. It's in the left hand. <laughs> uh, there, there is a section where it's not in the left hand, but certainly the, the main theme, the main tune um, in that particular piece is in the left hand. And normally, perhaps you can say that the tune is normally in the right hand. And when a tune goes from the right hand to the left hand, sometimes it can get a little bit lost. But yours certainly didn't get lost. I thought it came out beautifully. Um, so as I said, you really allowed the left hand melody to come through. Um, and there's real conviction, real sense of purpose in your playing. I, I very much enjoyed it. Well done. Um, Mark. Where's Mark? Sorry. There you are. Again, great intonation. Really good intonation on your playing. And um, one thing about uh, that piece is it's full of really luscious tunes, um, you know, sort of Latin sense of... Um, and what you tried with your left hand, and that's coming on very, very nicely, is this whole thing of vibrato. You should keep to develop that vibrato, yes? To make the, you know, make the, the sound even more... It's written in that, um, in your music calendar, which means singing style. So that, perhaps that's one thing you could look at in those melodies, making it a little bit more you know, like, like a song. But well done, very, very nice playing. Um, and James, drums. I put, first thing I noticed was well done for remaining calm and composed after the false start. So many people would perhaps get flustered, you didn't. Um, great technique, so much going on. And actually, um, when I saw drums um, come up, I thought it was just going to be all about rhythm. But I did get a sense of, I don't know whether anybody agrees, I did get a sense of melody, I heard there was a tune that was coming out of your playing. So well done, very, very nice. If I was to make one criticism, I think it would be, which is very difficult under nerves, because the temptation is to sort of, you know, go forward and go forward and, you know, get to the end of the piece. But perhaps just be steady on the, steady on the tempo, you know, keep it, keep it nice, because that's, at the end of the day, that's the percussionist's job, to keep everything in, in time. Um, Patrick. There you are. Again, very good blues playing, I put. It's relaxed, very chilled. That's what blues playing should be, nice and chilled. And you really, really um, went to town with the, the expressive markings that the composer had put in. There were accents in the right place. You followed all the crescendos and diminuendos. So well done. Very nice playing indeed. And um, uh, Jonathan. Um, Jonathan. Um, it was, it was dodgy that that was the, the last one, because a tear sort of came to my eye. That's one of, that's one of my favourite songs. I really, really do like, really love that song. 
And one thing I noticed, because there's two things going on with you, of course, it's your ukulele playing and your singing. And I think the most impressive thing about what was going on with your performance is that the ukulele didn't get in the way at all. It was almost like an extension of you. Um, it, you didn't need to pay it any attention whatsoever. You were just able to uh, play and you know accompany yourself. I thought your voice was, um, you know, you have a, uh, a very, very nice voice, and I thought you expressed that piece beautifully. So well done. Very emotional. Very, um, very nice singing and playing. So well done, all of you.